Hi, this is Jonathan Johnson, and today we're going to talk about limited permissions permissions for users. So first off, if you haven't already opened up your uh, computer and logged in as user or whoever, do so first. So we're going to go down here to Start Menu, and we're going to uh, click on the Control Panel. Now that we have Control Panel open, we're going to in the Control Panel we're going to click User Accounts and Family Safety. So we got to find that. Um, so now we found user accounts right here. We're gonna, whoops, then we're gonna go into user accounts. Okay, now we're in user accounts. Um, in the user accounts and family safety window, we're gonna click user account. We're gonna click user accounts. Um, not that. I don't know why that popped up. Now we're in user accounts. In user accounts window, we're going to click change user account control settings. So, change user click change user account control settings. Then we got the window talking about choose when to be notified about changes to your computer and all that. So, if the user account control dialog box appears, then click yes. So we're going to click OK. Yes. Um, that's how we. Uh, whoops. We got to move the setting closest to always notify. OK. Then click OK. Yes. OK. And that's a. Uh, then we click the OK button. On the left side of the user accounts window, click Control Panel Home. So now we're going to go click Control Panel Home, and it pulls back up the Control Panel main menu. Um, in Control Panel, we're going to click on a Clock, Language, and Region. So we'll find Clock, Language, and Region. All right, so we're going to click on Region and Language right here. Well, not that. Region and language. Here we are. Click region and language. Now we pull up the region and language menu. Um, in the clock, language, or region window, we're going to click set time and date. <coughs> so we're going to set the time and date. Um, date and time formats okay so we're gonna set it uh, we're gonna make sure the date and time tab is selected um, all right so I'm not seeing it in control panel for some reason for the uh, tab so we'll go down here we'll click on the clock down here and we'll ch click change date and times that setting so let's click it through this there we go. So the date and time tab is selected. Um, we're going to click change time zone. Well, we're going to change the time zone. So change time zone. Um, using the time zone drop down menu, select a time zone that is different than the one currently selected. So Mountain Standard, we're just going to go with random one, Greenland. Randomly clicked on Greenland. So. Now that we got that, we're going to click on uh, OK and apply that. So now that we're set for Greenland, and as of right now, it's May. It is 4.05 AM in Greenland, uh, May 22nd. And uh, now we're going to reset your time zone back to the initial, initial setting. So we're going to change it back to where, where we had it. So Mountain Standard, Canada, same. Mountain Time, US, apply. All right, now it's 12.06, back to our time. Um, 
Now we're gonna change the time to add one hour to the current time. So we're gonna date and time. We're gonna change date and time. So right now it's 12.06, we'll add an hour. Apply. Now it's down now it's 106 down the bottom instead of 1206. We applied an hour to change the time zone using the clock instead of going in to change the by location. Um, notice that you are prompted by user account control permission to make this change. Pops up and says, yes, I want to make this change. So we made that change. Um, now the system clock, we noticed that it's been changed. Now we're going to just repeat our steps required to set the time zone back back one hour. So change date and time. There's the prompt user account control. Yes, give permission. Click down, 1207, apply. Now we're back to where we were at 1207. Um, on the left side of the user accounts window, we're going to click control or X out of this first. We'll go back into... We gotta go back to user accounts. So we're going to user accounts and on the left side, click control panel home again. Now we're back there. In control panel, click clock, language, and region. So we'll go back to clock, language, and region. Change date and time settings. Okay. In clock link in the clock language and region window, click set the time and date. So we're at date and time already. Um, we're gonna click the change date and time button. Change date time. Yes, the pop, we're giving permission for it. Uh, now we're gonna click OK button. We gave him permission. Now we're gonna um, close the date and time window. Click the start button and type CMD into search programs and files search box. Okay, so now we're gonna just whoops, exit out of everything. We're gonna close this stuff. Click OK. Okay, now we're gonna go down to the Start menu, Search Programs and Files, and we're gonna type in CMD. And we're gonna we're gonna go to CMD. Okay, and then we're gonna type in Disk Part and then press Enter. So Disk. Whoops. Yeah, that's right. Disk part. This part. Hit enter. And now it pops up, and we're gonna click yes. We want to allow. Now another another one comes up, and um. Now you're prompted again. Whoops. We want we clicked the wrong thing. We want to go. Disk part. Enter. No. We want to click no. Now it says. Access is denied. Um, this makes it to where if people uh, try to change something that's not may meant to change on the computer, now they have to, they have to go in through all that and go disk part, and you have to click OK to uh, give people permission to change. But if you put disk part. And you click no when it, the prompt menu comes up, then it access is denied for anyone to change things but you. So that's um, my video and presentation on limited permissions for users. Actually, uh, I'll show you a few more things in this video real quick about permissions. So let's go back to control panel. For control panel, you can also for user accounts you can uh, set things like profile properties like uh, change the name of the computer they make it password protected you can put a picture for when you log a login picture um, you can manage your credentials with credential manager uh, manage your file encryption you can turn a bitlocker on and make um, certain things encrypted certain drives encrypted also so that's all I have for you today for uh, this presentation. Thank you.